Continuity of a function at a point. Definition. A function f of x is said to be continuous at x equal to a if and only if 1. f of a is defined. 2. Limit f of x when x tends to a exists. 3. Limit f of x when x tends to a is equal to f of a. Please remember, if one of the given condition is not satisfied, then f is not continuous at x equal to a. And please take note that domain are the values of x that will make the function defined. All functions are continuous on its domains. Let's try example 1. Determine whether the function fx is continuous at a x equal to negative 2, b x equal to 0, c x equal to 2, d x equal to 3. And the graph is given. Let's start with a. If the function is continuous at x equal to negative 2, let's check the three conditions. First condition, f of negative 2. By looking at the graph, when x equal to negative 2, fx equal to 1. Therefore, f of negative 2 is defined. And we might conclude that the first condition is satisfied. How about the second condition? We need to check whether limit fx when x tends to negative 2 exists or not. Let's start with limit fx when x tends to negative 2 from left. By looking at the graph, when x tends to negative 2 from left, fx tends to 1. How about limit fx when x tends to negative 2 from right? By looking at the graph, when x tends to negative 2 from right, fx tends to 2. Hence, we might conclude that limit fx when x tends to negative 2 from left is not equal to limit fx when x tends to negative 2 from right. Therefore, we might conclude that limit of fx when x tends to negative 2 does not exist. And it means that the second condition is not satisfied. So, we do not proceed the third condition. As a conclusion, fx is not continuous at x equal to negative 2. B. If the function is continuous at x equal to 0. Let's check the first condition. f of 0. By looking at the graph, when x equal to 0, fx is equal to 5. So, f of 0 is defined. Second, we need to check whether limit of fx when x tends to 0 exists or not. Limit fx when x tends to 0 from right. By looking at the graph, when x tends to 0 from right, it approaching positive infinity. How about limit fx when x tends to 0 from left? By looking at the graph, when x tends to 0 from left, it approaching positive infinity. Therefore, 
we might conclude that limit of fx when x tends to 0 exists. However, it is undefined. Third condition, f of 0 is not equal to limit fx when x tends to 0 and is not satisfied the conditions of a function to be continuous. Therefore, we might conclude that fx is not continuous at x equal to 0. If the function is continuous at x equal to 2, let's check the first condition, f of 2. When x equal to 2, fx is equal to 2. Therefore, f of 2 is defined. Second condition, limit fx when x tends to 2 from left. By looking at the graph, when x tends to 2 from left, fx tends to 2. How about limit fx when x tends to 2 from right? By looking at the graph, when x tends to 2 from right, fx tends to 2. We might see that both limits are equal to 2. Therefore, limit of fx when x tends to 2 is equal to 2 and it exists. And it satisfies the second condition. Third condition, f of 2 is equal to limit fx when x tends to 2. And the third condition is also satisfied. Hence, as a conclusion, fx is continuous at point x equal to 2. D. If the function is continuous at x equal to 3, let's check the first condition, f of 3. When x equal to 3, fx equal to 2. So, f of 3 is defined. Second condition, let's check limit fx when x tends to 3 from left. By looking at the graph, when x tends to 3 from left, fx tends to 3. And limit fx when x tends to 3 from right. By looking at the graph, when x tends to 3 from right, fx tends to 3. So, limit fx when x tends to 3 is equal to 3. And we might conclude that limit fx when x tends to 3 exists and it satisfied the second condition. How about the third condition? For the third condition, we look at these two values. By looking at these two values, we might conclude that f of 3 is not equal to limit fx when x tends to 3. And it means that the third condition does not satisfy the condition for a function to be continuous. In conclusion, fx is not continuous at x equal to 3. Example 2. Determine the points where the function fx equal to 3 over x minus 1 times x plus 2 is not continuous. By looking at this function, f 
is not defined at x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 2. Thus, we conclude that x cannot be 1 and x cannot be negative 2. So, f of 1 and f of negative 2 does not exist. Therefore, fx is not continuous at x equal to 1 and x equal to negative 2.